Howdy y'all, let's see if we can do this real quick here. Taking my time, choosing my line, trying to decide what to do. Looks like my stop, don't want to get off, got myself hung up on you. Seems to me, you don't want to talk about it, seems to me. You just turn your pretty head and walk away. That's just a song that I, I wanted to, I figured I'd play a song. I, I, this is going to be more about uh, gratitude and a little story about how this all started for me, my whole cancer, can, cancer journey thing. Before I get there, if you could like, comment, and subscribe, that'd be awesome. I am looking to get to 1,000 subscribers because um, I want to give away a guitar, but I have this goal of hey, reaching 1,000 subscribers first. Um, anyways, there's a commercial, it's over. Um, so I don't know if you all know that uh, when my journey started, I almost died. I mean, literally almost died. When I, I got brought to the hospital because I'd been bleeding. I'd been bleeding out my butt. I thought I had hemorrhoids. Um, none of the symptoms, and to this day, so the doctors are still puzzled because I don't have some of the symptoms that they would associate with colon cancer. Um, the big one is the pain. It's like, where is it? it, it Every once in a while, but it's like, well, what could it be? It's just like, it's like super fast. It's like, uh, uh, done. And it's like, okay, well, according to everything else, it's not supposed to be there. So I thought I had hemorrhoids. Um, and it, one day at work, I couldn't get off the toilet. And I actually stayed at work overnight. I was going to try and take an Uber home, found out it was $190. And I was like, oh, hell no. And uh, we had a back room. Um, I'm in IT. So we have a, a secure room in the back. I just let myself in and... Uh, I let Horace know what was going on, and um, that I was going to try and take uh, an Uber home. He was like, cool, and uh, they found me there the next morning. I was still there, and uh, well, the manager said, you're going to the hospital, and I couldn't argue because I didn't have the strength. I couldn't get up. I didn't have enough blood in my body to actually stand up. That was how low I was, and basically, they told me when they got me to the hospital, um, the doctors, I don't remember if it's... Um, they gave me four units, and if it was five, they would have just given up on me. Or if it was five units, and they had to give me six, they, they would have given up on me. But it was, I was as low as you could get um, without them giving up on me, without them saying, you're dead, dude. You're just dead. You cannot function. Your body cannot function like this, and you're dead. You know, so um, I, I literally almost died. Um, and I didn't know that. And it's still probably sinking in a little bit because um, I hate the term born again, but it seems like that is exactly what's happened to me. And it almost seems like that uh, what's happening to me now is is I'm getting a chance to do what I should have done when I was like 18 or 19. I know that sounds stupid, but um, it seems like I'm getting a chance to have a do-over. Hey, my laundry's done. Uh, but, uh, I'm getting a do over to do what I was supposed to do. And I feel super blessed and super grateful. I feel super grateful for everyone that's here and, and thank you. And Bert, if you're still watching to this point, uh, thank you for the, uh, about the silver guitar. I have the 12 string to match and I'm also, that's why I bought this one because I love those so much. And I was trying to, trying to find something that will, um, it, it completely match it with a, a black and silver, a black pickguard and silver. I couldn't find that with the electronics that I wanted for a price range that I could afford. Um, I did find electronics that I wanted in a pre-wired, if I can get this silly thing out of there, uh, um, configuration. And uh, it, it turned out to be a white pickguard. I mean, this one's pretty cool because this all has, it has two, it's basically an what they call HSS configuration, but the, the two single coils are um, hot rails that can be coil split. Um, so that then the uh, humbucker also just, you know, coil split. So and uh, the the uh, uh, on for the uh, um, for for the for the neck uh, pickup, that that was the, the main thing that I, I seriously wanted. I love that. I can't stand strats, but 
that that one feature, if they had put that on strats when I first started playing a Brazilian years ago, I probably would have liked strats a little bit better. Probably would have tried to get around the controls a little bit more. Um, I just didn't. I don't like the quack. So you know. Um, but I, I'm super grateful to everybody that's here and and everybody that's coming. And 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 I know I'm gonna get there someday. It's just you know the waiting is the hardest part. And and I'm grateful for the journey too. And I gotta learn to enjoy that more. And uh, I'm just so so thankful for everything today. And I'm just thankful to be here. And uh, if you're still here for my long story, thanks, man. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just one of those things. What what am I grateful for? It's a cliche, but I literally almost died. So I am grateful for being here. Um, seriously gr grateful for being here. I thank God every day that I'm here. And uh, hope that I can be here for a while longer. That would be cool because I, I, I seem to have goals now. And, and uh, you know, if this is how I was supposed to be in the first place, then I will gladly embrace it. Um, and thank God for it all, all the way. And I hope you guys are having a great turkey day. My sister is cooking a turkey. Going to come pick me up. We're going to go have some birds. Oh, some pie. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We're going to get fat. Yes. Anyways, um, I hope you all is having a great day. It's Thanksgiving. Always look up. He's there for you. And I'll see you then. Peace.